two, one, and go. Okay, that resolution changes only at the start, I think, so I don't, I know. Okay, back to the test. Uh, you're going to see a specific rolling technique for the whole run. That's called an infinite rolling. Uh, it's done by making a jump, then cancel the jump and make a roll. So you can keep on rolling on the ground infinitely. Uh, Golden Rambi happens because there are too many sprites on the screen at the same time. So uh, new sprites can take color from different sprites. Uh, so the goal of this task is to find the 67 bonuses, finish 33 levels and beat King K. Roll. So um, you don't need to... Uh, for this one I lost the bonus, but you actually don't have to finish them. You can just have uh, enter them and fail at the same time. Uh, and each time you finish a level with all the bonuses, you can see an exclamation mark next to the uh, uh, level name. So that's how you know that you got all of them. Uh, no, I don't aim for a specific, specific banana count. Uh, you, all, you don't always want to set to get too many bananas though, as uh, getting too many of them can lag the game. Or like if you pick up two bananas on the same frame, the game will lag 50% of the time. So I, I kind of want to avoid bananas most of the time. Uh, sadly there are many of these slow bonuses and I have fun with my input presses to mask the uh, balloon on screen. Because I don't have anything better to do. Uh, so in this game you only have to enter the bonus, and there's a tr trick you're going to see in the second world, where I enter the bonus, then just ent enter the entrance and then leave the bonus. If I even go in then it properly, but I'll spend it further, further on. Um, as mentioned, rolling is the best way to travel, and each time you're rolling to an enemy, up to four enemies, you get a boost. Uh, and they're used to a barrel boost. If you hold a barrel and jump at the edge of the... Uh, the platform, certain pl platforms, you get some high speed boosting. Uh, there are many other small tricks in the game, like here you can skip part of the, uh, the crawling space if you keep jumping. Uh, yeah, Pyroman, I thought it would be nice to have the input shown. I don't think the R is, uh, is shown properly though, not sure. As it's cut off on the layout. Uh, there's also a rolling trick called the extended roll. If you uh, roll into an enemy and keep holding the Y button, which you roll around with, you uh, will start a new roll instantly with higher speed. But if you re release Y when you hit an enemy, you can repress it later on to gain that extra boost as well as starting a new roll. That can be used to uh, gain further distance with more speed. Uh, both levels are mostly quite boring. Uh, none of them have any bonus levels, so it's just grab and guard and keep boosting to the end. Uh, this one has been redone so many times, this level. Because of very small optimizations. As uh, optimizing the subpixels is quite difficult in this game. And as mentioned before, I worked on this run for about 10 years. Uh, I didn't really work daily on it, of course, but uh, it was how long it took to finish. Uh, one reason is because I kept finding new tricks, kept finding small improvements all the time. And uh, if I know that yeah, the first level can be improved by fi 5 frames, I don't want that in my task, so then I just redo the whole thing. Uh, you can sometimes re-edit the levels, but uh, that's often going to cause uh, lag issues in the game, so it's not that easy to to edit early, early levels. Uh, in general though, if you have any questions about what's going on, feel free to, to write in the chat. Uh, in the menus, I guess you mean in the overworld, I suppose? As I'm not sure. Uh, there's an in-game timer though. Uh, so th this full task is uh, 41, 41 minutes long, and the in-game timer is 33 minutes. So I guess 8 minutes in the menus, and uh, that's also including loading time and uh, lag frames. Uh, so hit the first boss. You have to wait for him to be uh, halfway through his jump before you can land on him. So it's just timing your hits, can't do anything much. Uh, 
At the start of this le level is a good uh, place to see if the extended rolling trick works, as you can keep rolling all the time. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And as I let's keep the uh, the best frog in the game, Winky. I get all the other animal bodies, but uh, Winky has no use, Sally. But he has become a meme in the uh, DKC uh, community. There are Winky only tasks, for example. Uh, here's one of many uh, uh, level warps. There are about six or seven of them in the game, can't remember. Uh, for DKC 2 and 3, they are, are in all of World 1 and 2, but in this one they are spread out throughout the game. Except for the Game Revance version, where they have been switched up. And this is the power of the barrel boosts. It's a one frame only trick, so it's uh, kind of hard to do in real time consistently. So all tasks here took the, the upper path in the uh, area here. But if you keep jumping the crawl spaces, and you can also barely make it through the uh, B cycles without having to wait for them. So there are many, many small things uh, I do all the time to uh, optimize the subpixels. As whenever you start a new roll after a jump, for example, you need to release the Y button. And uh, depending on where in the jump you release it, you can save or lose different amount of subpixels, depending on the situation. So for each time I jump and re-roll, I have to time every Y press to see what's optimal. Uh, level warps does not count as bonuses now, but I, I do take all level warps because it's faster to use them. Uh, these rock rock enemies here, in the this version of the game you can simply roll through them without taking damage. That's just how it is. In the Japanese version you can kill them with a uh, ground slap with Donkey Kong. But Diddy can't do any damage, but he can roll through. And here's the first uh, um, instance of a starter select trick to skip the bonus. So I enter the bonus with one frame, then press start and select to exit it again. It's nice like this, putting a TNT burying me there. Here set up a super jump. If you take damage and have the other jump make a high jump out of frame, you can then get a DK barrel, get the donkey uh, the, the Kong back, take damage, hold B, land on an enemy, and you can jump up as high as you can, uh, high as possible. So that's going to be used a few times in the run. Uh, one problem with this emulator is that when you press start in the game, uh, for some reason the uh, the audio is sped up, and then the whole game is sped up. That has been fixed with late, re later releases of oh, the emulator, but, but this one is uh, a bit buggy. Here's another trick, if you jump and you uh, fail a bonus, Diddy makes a high jump straight up. That can be combined by sliding down the, uh, the platform on the right there. So he's actually sliding down and jumping and landing on a platform at the top. And that makes him land earlier than if he would be standing on the bottom instead. So that saves a little bit of time. Uh, so here you see that I skipped the second boss fight. Uh, bosses are not included in the percent meter for beating the game 101%, uh, except for King K. Roll. So you can actually skip uh, several bosses in the game. Though the second boss is the only one that actually saves any time because of this handy warp here. Uh, and the warp I just did is done by pressing a button in one of the corners in the first row. Uh, there are four places where you can do that warp. Uh, three of them takes you to this level, different places, and the fourth one takes you to the second level in the game. This is a really quick way to get into World 3. Uh, and this level is uh, level 3-5, Rangutan Gang. It has uh, lots of bonuses in it, five of them total. So when I finish this level, you see that I I haven't got a path to early levels as I warped straight into it. Uh, here's a trick called a jump roll. It's done by landing on an enemy the same frame you start a roll. Uh, Claptrap, which is that enemy, can't normally roll into, but uh, if, if you land down 
when you land on it, if you're falling down a platform, then you have one frame to, to actually start a roll of on, on, uh, roll off it. Uh, so with the jumple trick, you are rolling in the air with rolling speed, and you're dropping one subpixel per frame. So there are 256 subpixels, so about four seconds you drop one pixel. Uh, and that's going to be important in the later level. But um, most of the time it doesn't matter. And another boring boss level. Uh, for each of the corners I have to gain distance by moving to the left, for example, to build up speed to go to the right. So I can pass the corner with as much speed as possible. And second boss fight, or third, technically. But um, Queen B. You have to wait for her to stop blinking and stop blinking. And I, I started a kind of a myth here in the DKC community that if you break the left barrel, the game is going to lag one frame. Uh, that's not exactly true, but um, but when a, a barrel respawns, depending on the frame that the barrel spawns on, it can lag the game for one frame. And for my first task I did for the first time I passed this boss fight, I always got a lag of frame because the, the barrel spawned at such a time that the uh, uh, the barrel spawned and just lagged the game. So I said to people that don't break the left barrel because the game is going to lag, but it doesn't necessarily do that. It's depending on the, the frame timing. Uh, well, TKC has the, the infinite falling glitch, which doesn't exist in the other two games in the same way. So in this one you can see me rolling all the time, as long as there's a flat ground. But in the other games you have to keep jumping all the time to stop the roll and keep rolling. And that changes it up quite a bit. Um, DKC 3 doesn't have too many tricks and glitches in it compared to the other two. And DKC 2 is uh, normally the most popular, popular one. But uh, this is my personal favorite. Uh, there is someone jumping straight through the enemy. Uh, some enemies in the game don't have a hitbox on them. Um, only enemies that are still, to, to be exact. So for the, uh, the Neki, that one, as well as the Mini Neki, like this one, you can actually walk through without taking any damage. But the nuts will still kill you. Now let's start and select to get the bonus without really entering. And there's another level of warp. Uh, this bonus uh, normally have to uh, to wait for the Gnoti, Gnoti to walk to the left, but you can barely make it with uh, just the alone. And you can see some nice rolling and stuff to skip some of the barrels. Uh, so as for this bonus coming up here, you uh, normally have to use the barrels more than I do, but if you stand on the on the side of the platform, make a roll, then you can jump up and. Uh, go around the barrel, go under the barrel rather, to get the bonus. In this level you can see the first instance of a super jump roll. Um, so if you set up, uh, that was a leg on jump roll, but if you set up the super jump by taking damage, having did a jump up, break a barrel, and then you take damage again, holding B to jump, as well as starting a roll. You can, as long as you hold B, you can keep going up as far as you want while gaining speed to the side. So I'm, I'm currently rolling very high up and now I release B so I'm falling and falling until I can drop down into the bonus. That's going to be done a few times. It's not as useful uh, in this category because I need to stop for the bonuses. But for this one there's a long outer scroll one less with the, the ropes. So it skips a lot of it. I uh, normally have to take that, that barrel, but uh, if you jump on the enemy, land on the exit barrel, you can use the blast and uh, and uh, blast off the entrance to the bonus and get it anyway, without having to use the barrel. Uh, normally when you roll into a rope uh, and try to jump, the game will teleport you back to the rope. But if you have enough speed, you can... Uh, bypass the hitbox of the rope and roll through it, fine. But it's uh, one frame only and you need the high speed to do it. 
so it's not really... It's not commonly done in the real-time runs. Right, it's never done in real-time runs. Uh, I accidentally did it in uh, Games Done Quick 13, I think I did a DKC, DKC run. And that kind of messed me up, <laughs> sadly. Uh, fun thing about the, the bonuses in this level. If you take damage on the earliest possible frame, uh, the game glitches up and you're going to warp back to the first level in the game. That happens when you take damage before the fade out has finished. So I have to actually delay one frame to take damage for the bonuses. Now I'm done with this world, so I'm going to go back to. Hello, not go back. Oh, I can go back, yes. To level 4, the ice world. Uh, snow is quite, an quite annoying to, uh, to test with because the uh, the rolling trick I do all the time, it, it, it doesn't stay at full speed, so you have to keep doing it all the time to uh, gain, regain the speed back. And on flat service you can just start the roll instantly and keep going, but with the, uh, with the snow we have to make a jump first to ex accelerate first. <laughs> Shut up, Snackback! This test is perfect! Yeah, even though like, it took a long time to do this task, uh, because new findings and stuff, new things have always been found. So, uh, there are a couple of things that are improvable, of course. But I'm really satisfied with this task, I think it's great in my opinion. Uh, and I dare anyone to, to improve it, I would love to see it. Uh, some of the bonuses uh, when you exit, there's not a barrel that shoots you out, like this one, you just fall straight down. So they can be scary, like if you try to hold left and right, you can actually die falling down the the void. So I need to re-enter to finish the, the last pair here. Yeah, the reason I don't didn't take this this bonus at the same time is both that you can skip it because it's a quite slow barrel, a slow bonus. And it saves some time. Here I want to touch the left barrel first, because that, that one changes one frame earlier than the other ones. So it's actually faster to use the left one compared to the other ones. Uh, normally you have to use Donkey Kong to get this barrel, but if you jump up the ropes and hold down while you keep jumping up, you can climb up infantry. And that's actually faster to do than to switch back to Donkey Kong and switch back to Diddy. Uh, that bonus can be quite annoying to do, because if you do it too fast and well, too incorrectly, I guess, uh, the game will despawn the ropes, so you roll out to grab a jump, to, uh, grab a jump, ah, grab a rope, uh, then the ropes to gain, to get. And another re-enter for a bonus. And this bonus can also be a bit annoying, if you uh, hold down and left the entire time, you can open that bonus and then the bonus will instantly close itself because uh, the the bottom the bottom camera hasn't loaded correctly, so the game thinks it's it's not open yet. Very much. That's not instant of that in uh, Orangutan Gang. That can be a bit messed up. And here's Expresso. She's great because he can fly. And uh, I try to land on these slopes all the time to gain some extra boost. As well as, uh, as well as jumping at the end of the slope, that keeps uh, preserves some of the speed. And also when you jump as soon as possible with slopes going upwards, you can avoid losing speed as well. It can be a tr bit tricky, but uh, yeah. Uh, so after this level is uh, one of the reasons why this task took so long to do. Because I'm going to do a glitch here. That's going to make the next level, the water level, a bit interesting. And uh, this made it so difficult to test, because you kind of needed some kind of camera hack. You'll see soon why. And I couldn't do it. I simply couldn't do it. So I, I gave up twice on this test because of this. And the third time, I asked for help, pretty much. And a guy called Alyosha, I can't pronounce his name. He took out the job to test it for me, pretty much. Because I, I simply gave up. So a lot of things going up here. Um, I first did a glitch called Spit Up. 
if you enter a level, throw a DK barrel and uh, start to select out the level. The game still thinks you have Donkey Kong with you, or Diddy Kong, even though we don't. Uh, then I take damage and have the other jump, uh, the other monkey jump down a hole and die. At the same time I'm getting Expresso. So Donkey Kong lands, falls down and die, Diddy Kong lands on Expresso and the level ends. And then when I enter this level, um, I get the animal body I was, I was having, because there's an anim animal body in this game, in this level. So right now I'm running around the exp Expresso. Uh, the problem here is that, as you can see, you can't see, <laughs> as you can see, you can't see, you can't see uh, Expresso running around because you're much faster that the camera moves. But you get some glimpse out, out of me. Um, and you can clip through the walls. But the problem here is you still have to follow the more or less intended path of the level. Because if you go straight through the walls, the game is not going to uh, follow you. The, the camera's not going to follow you. As it, it won't sit through. And in order to beat the level, you have to have the camera spawn the exit point. So the camera has to, to get up there. But that is a much faster way to beat the level, but it's so difficult. And uh, it's not done in real time runs. You, you can beat the level like that fairly easily. Uh, though it's still tricky too. You, you can see get soft lock, for example. But to save time doing it, I don't think anyone has, as far as I know. And here's Squawks. Uh, Squawks are making the game lag if it's on screen. But uh, luckily I'm uh, I'm too fast some of the time, so you can't keep up. So they light. But it's going to flicker when I turn left and right. Which is kind of annoying. So you've seen all the animal bodies except for Winky. So Winky is useless. Sorry guys. Here's not a level with Winky, but uh, he's at the end of this bonus, but it's too, too slow to get him. Uh, fun fact, in case you didn't know, this level was inspired by the uh, the Ewok Ewoks in Super Star Wars, uh, Super Star Wars, in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. The Forest Moon of Endor. The yeah, Winky sucks, indeed. But there's an uh, all Winky category with the goal of uh, getting all the Winky tokens and as well as getting all the Winky animal bodies. So it's, here's it's the nice Nordian again. You can stand on top here and that lets you land on him in slightly earlier. Uh, and I'm going to do a trick here to take damage. Uh, if you take damage here, it's going to skip the uh, the high jump phases. So it's going to jump high four times there before you get him. But if you take damage, you can skip that and beat it quickly. Here you can actually, if you fall too quickly down the uh, the hole, you can actually skip landing into the barrel because the camera hasn't loaded the barrel yet, so you can fall down and die. I don't think that has happened in the run so far, but uh, but it's, it's very precise to do. It's a sneaky bonus, as there's a bonus inside the bonus. And you also have to jump and land into the bonus area. Uh, as if you throw the barrel and open it up, exit, that, uh, that the game is going to take you out on the bonus without you getting the second bonus. It's not a nice little jump roll. And the fire will only hurt you if you stand on the middle of the platform, so you can roll through the fire and stand on the side of the barrels without you dying. Uh, yes, you can, Giga. You can, um, there are many different warps in the game that can take you backwards in the game. You can warp to level 1-1 one, one easily, for example, but you can warp to many different levels. Uh, but you can't take the Funky Barrel. That's impossible. But you can use Glitz Warps to take it there. 
It's a nice little level warp to the end. And then hit a bonus at the bottom here. With one of the Vinky tokens. Uh, so this is the outer scroller. You can skip some of it with uh, jump roll coming up here. Well, some of it, like most of it. And uh, Donkey Kong has a higher hitbox, so you can hit this this necky without taking damage. And I can just roll through the level. Uh, there, are, there are kind of two different types of jump rolls. Uh, one that you have to jump out of, and one that can you roll out of. So if you get um, that we call a double explosion from hitting the enemy, uh, each time you kill an enemy you can see these small stars. And if you can get two of those stars, uh, that can't be done on all the enemies, but uh, many of them, then you can roll uh, out of the, the jump roll, and that saves a bit of time as well, and has to be done in a few places. This one is one of my least famous levels. But uh, this, uh, this one has some interesting story to it, as uh, this was the level where the, the wrong warping was found. As me and Arne the Great, I think it's a task of the game, we had a little competition this level. Uh, as it was known that you can gra grab the, the steel barrel, that one is here, and make an invisible barrel. That was a known glitch for us. But uh, with the invisible barrel you are holding the next object that spawns. And in this level, if you hold the wrong object, I can't remember which one it was, I think it's something related to the elevators. Uh, the game is going to crash. Uh, so me and Aaron set up a competition to see who can reach the end of the level as soon as possible. Or getting as far as possible, rather. Um, so I got it uh, I got it to this bonus, doing the glitch. And I said like, yeah, yeah, I won! And I entered the bonus, and finished the bonus, and for some reason that took me back to the first level in the game. And then Arn started to investigate, like, why this this happened. And he found out, like, why it happens and how we can use it to to skip several worlds. Uh, yeah, you're very slow to fall when jump rolling. Falling one pixel every frame. So in the level uh, Tanked Up Troubles, that's coming up shortly, uh, if you have a higher or lower, uh, suffix of value for the white position, then you can't uh, roll under the bees because they're going to kill you. So uh, quite often you have to wiggle around left and right to make Diddy or Donkey fall down so you can bypass them. So it's actually a useful feature that you can that you keep dropping. And this uh, water level is so annoying to, to speedrun. I'm no fan of it. Uh, but this level is great. Uh, there's a glitch here that's caused by uh, the game being confused, I guess. As uh, when you're on the, on the track like this, there is sort of a, a, a floor detection going on right now. The game thinks you're on the floor, but you're in a state that you can't roll in. But when you get after the bonus level, you can jump out of barrel. I'll take damage here, and then you can keep rolling, and keep jumping and rolling all the time. And each time I start a new roll, you can see that Diddy is dropping slightly. So I have to time my rolling perfectly to uh, not fall down as far, so I can still get the barrel. That's a nice little glitch. And at the bonus, you saw some strange things happening when I switched characters. If you switch characters on uh, on the slope, on the one frame friction slope, uh, the game is a bit messed up, so you can still move around while the game is switching you. So I was falling down to end the bonus while the game was switching my characters, so that saves some time. It has some other side effects in other levels, but uh, sadly it's nothing useful. Uh, here again you can do the rolling glitz by jumping the barrel, then making a roll and jump instantly. Uh, the um, the glitch ground state is reset when there's an actual platform. So when the game is actually detecting ground, then it, it's out. Then it's fixed. This level is pretty nice, as uh, 
but they do it in real time without slowing down, it's quite impressive. As they have to do things blind. And when tassing, uh, I can uh, I can delete the blackness when tassing, but that actually deletes the enemies as well. As when the game goes dark, all enemies disappear as well. I'm not sure if that's uh, a thing to say memory or something, I'm not sure. But everything disappears. I need to use the steel barrel to open up the last bonus here. Also, in general, you don't want to hit enemies when you don't need to, as each time you kill an enemy, the game is going to be paused for two frames, and 50% of the chance the game is also going to lag for one frame. So, in uh, in times we have to wait, don't waste time. Uh, don't waste time. Don't kill enemies because that wastes time. But if you have to roll into it to gain speed, then of course roll all you want. Well, like uh, in Tank of Trouble or Trick or Trek, but to outscorers, you don't win. You don't want to kill enemies. In the PAL version of this boss, you can, if you enter with Diddy Kong only, you can hold left uh, and you can uh, avoid breaking the DK barrel at the start. So you hold left, you jump over the barrel, and then uh, the game is going to soft lock you. So you have to reset the console. It's a very nice feature. It can be done on the US version as well with the uh, uh, the slap slide trick. As you see, I'm using the slap and to slide back and forth. That can be done on the first frame you enter the level by slap sliding to the left. Then you can skip. Yeah, that's like that side. But in the PAL version, it's much easier to just hold left instead. So it's tanked up trouble. Uh, got a lot of time to waste by doing silly things. So, so this one, I don't want to kill any enemies. I want to avoid all them that I don't have to kill and just doing silly things. In death. But uh, we don't want to do this the whole level, so we want to do the, uh, the jump on glitz. Uh, you can do it earlier with some of the other levels, uh, so, uh, other enemies, but uh, the problem is that you, you're you going to be in a, in a height level so that you're going to roll into something, either a tire or a bee or whatever. And it takes too long to wiggle around until you've fallen enough to bypass them. So this is the first instant where you can actually skip the whole level. Until you get to the barrel, that is. You can keep rolling here, but it's uh, the slower than to take the barrel. And then we have one last bonus. Oh, I hate that the the game is sped up. It sounds so weird when the, the music. I did a lot of tests here to see if Ram Rambi was actually useful here or not. As uh, Rambi is running slower than Diddy is, it is rolling. But uh, as you have to keep jumping, then you lose speed. While Rambi Rambi's jumping running speed is higher than uh, uh, Diddy's jumping speed. And there's a trick here you can do to jump off Rambi to skip the platform here. So it ended up being faster anyway. So bye Rambi. That's a nice barrel boosting. Um, uh, this is not a bonus level, that entrance, it's just uh, an entrance in general. Earlier speedrunners of this game thought it was counter to the bonus percentage, but it isn't. So that's why I'm skipping it. It's normally required to go into it to get the barrel that was up there, but you can just land an enemy and punch up and skip it. Mr. Mine, here's another instance where I'm going to use the super jump roll. So, same here, snap everything. Jump roll. 
All in B to gain height. Then keep running into enemies and to get full speed. Uh, as mentioned, this can't be all done that often in this category as you need to drop down to get the bonuses. Like this one. But uh, it's a pretty long distance to get, so... Uh, I did a comparison to, uh, to not use the super jump roll, but I can't remember the time difference. As it does take a while to set up and you need to regain Donkey Kong, which takes another half a second. And all these small things adds up. Uh, but having only Diddy is nice as well, because the game will lag less often. But sometimes you have to get a DK barrel. As the game will force you onto it. Ah, for, for the frames, not a second. Half a second. And, and I don't think... Oh, I'm more than 30 seconds low. Okay, now I get you. Uh, and the first clap trap in that level, it's, uh, it's not moving. So for some reason you can roll into it and kill it in the first version of the game. That has been fixed with later releases, though. Then just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. That bonus is interesting because I, I never found that one as a kid. And uh, it looks so different compared to all the other bonuses in the game, I think. Yeah, I roll into a clap trap at the start of the level. Mm. So here's the last level in the game. And this is going to be a nice one. Um, for the 100% category, you can uh, skip this level by doing a split up this form. This one doing something differently. Uh, there I set up a jump roll, I fell down, so I can start a roll whenever. And uh, when enemies fall down, they're going to land at the bottom layer of the screen. And um, as it's slightly above the death barrier, I can land on them before I'm dying myself and start a new jump roll. So now I have two jump rolls stored, so I get the speed boost for both of them. And uh, here's where the falling mechanic is... Uh, could have been uh, difficult task to deal with because I'm, I'm falling all the time so I'm close to dying and I need to jump up to get this barrel but luckily they put the barrel uh, so low so you can jump up to get it and if Diddy has been one pixel lower down at the end there uh, he would have died so it worked out so nicely that you can roll through the entire level and get to the bonus before the game drops you down if that would have been a single jump roll single jump roll speed then this wouldn't have worked because Tidia had fallen down and died before before reaching the barrel. So it's uh, quite convenient. Uh, and we skipped the first Master Nikki fight, but we have to do this one. So just waiting for the, uh, the nuts to drop down and uh, keep jumping. I sometimes delay jumping by one frame, as I said before, 50% of the time when you hit an enemy, the game will lag. And sometimes it's faster to delay one frame to hit it. As that will, uh, it will lose one real time frame, but it will save one lag frame. And for the next hit, because of that change in, uh, in real time frames, it might be that the next hit won't lag the game. But uh, most of the time, I uh, if I get an equal result, I try to go for the real-time frame instead of the lag frames. As I almost also care about the, the in-game timer. Uh, so this boss, King Roll, there's a lot of waiting time the entire, entire round. And uh, it's like not, not too much you can do. And I've been passing this level so many times, so... Uh, like I kind of out of ideas to, what to include. So I don't think this is my best version of this, uh, this level, but uh, I run out of ideas, so I don't want to repeat the same exact thing. Even though you kind of have to, but uh, I do think it's running in place. That looks fun, like 
Not a dumb court, they didn't know where to go. I think the music is great. Even though I can't hear anything because I'm a, my uh, Audi muted. So that's it, Kappa. This fooled so many kids back in the 90s. And still people today, I suppose. Fake out credits, so good. Uh, so the task timing ends when, uh, with the last input made, while wait time run ends when the, uh, the banana falls down. Uh, so because this is a task, I'm using test timing, so I'm ending input as early as possible. So that involves that jump. So right now I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing still, the task has ended. So wait, you didn't finish the game? Well, wait and see. I think that's like kind of a clever way to, to beat the game. Uh, if you have a donkey first, you can do a slab slide and end input earlier. And that's done in the end of some tasks. But uh, having donkey first is slow, so that's the best you can do. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, the run finished. And uh, if you have found all the bonuses, you're going to get a special message from Cranky Kong. After you check the abandoned horde. Oh, no. There you go. What a player you are, Dr. My Lad. And uh, uh, Cranky, he keeps bragging that he beat the game in, in one hour using one life. And um, sadly, this task, I did die once actually, to set up the glitz for uh, running around with Espresso in Quality uh, Chase. So yeah, I have to die. Even that task had to die. So Cranky is still the champion. He is too good at the game. But yeah, that's the task. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And I guess I'll let the, uh, the credits roll in. So if you have any, any more questions or anything, feel free and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, a lot of people in the RTA community wants me to test or someone to test the old status category as that's the most popular one. But I've been refusing for many years because I like this category more. Uh, however, it gets a bit uh, repetitive with all the bonuses. As many of them look alike and the only thing you do is you enter, you fail it or you just run through it. You've done too much. Uh, in DKC 2 and 3 the bonuses are mere they have more vari variation to them, and they just have to finish all of them in that category. But for this one, they are kind of uninteresting. And sadly, they kept the uninteresting part in Donkey Kong Country Returns, as well as Tropical Freeze. And that's one that's so annoying to me. I got so mad at that. But I heard it was done because of time users, I think it was, or whatever. But yeah. Uh, I suppose they're going to be. Yeah, but then you did, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Me and my brothers we always love this part uh, in the game when you see all the, the enemies and everything. Like when Cranky Hong shows up. That was a good one. <laughs> Especially the credits music is being very good. Good guys. So Rambi was used, he was useful in two levels. Express was used in one level. Squawk uh, and God was used in all world levels except chat one. But Winky, I don't know. Sorry Winky. Even Squawks was used, but uh, you don't want to have uh, you don't want to use Squawks because he's going to lag the game. But uh, in this category it was mandatory to get him. As uh, when you enter the bonus and exit the bonus, you're getting him automatically. Even though we didn't break the barrel start. Good or cranky Kong. And then they nicely the battle at the end. That's what I like with Rider doing these funny things at the end of the games. Both DC2 and 3 have some stuff as well. Donkey Kong is so mean, like, with the shells being bit in the finger. 
Vampires Trunky the Bradley to beat the game in less than an hour in one life. As mentioned, I couldn't even do it. The Taz had to die and die once. Trunky is just too good. But I don't know how we are like schedule wise if I solo cut it off or let the credits roll the entire way through. Uh, I don't wanna set anything yet, so I'm just I'm just rolling. As we do in DC, keep on rolling. Uh, I can't remember how much the glitch in Crotopus says will save. I don't have the numbers in my head. But it makes uh, skipping a water level more or less, making it more interesting. And the Kraken won't say anything differently at the end of the game. Doesn't matter if you die zero times or 100 times, it's still going to say that bragging about him never dying. So there's no, no like better ending than this. As, uh, as long as you get all the bonuses, Craig Kong is going to con congratulate you. But this is the best ending you can get. Press Y to win the game. Yeah, you need to repress it all the time. And uh, when the credits are done, the game is going to reset itself and then we can show the, uh, the file select to see if you get everything or not. Yeah, I mean, doing deathless is pointless. Oh no, the... <laughs> oh, whatever. The layout is messed up again, I think. So the in-game timer is... Uh, I'm not sure how it looks on stream right now. Yeah, it's, it looks weird, whatever. But 33 minutes and 101%. Or 101 star, I guess. Let's say percent. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, DKC, 101%. I hope you enjoy this.